AITA for telling my sister I am going to get a restraining order? Two years ago, I, F49, found out that two teenagers, both newly 18 by a week or so at that time, that my husband, M53, and I had gotten to know were living in their car. We have an in-law suite in our house that wasn't being used and I couldn't in good conscience let those kids keep sleeping rough knowing I had the room for them. They moved in and we're a family now. My husband and I never had kids of our own so these two are our kids now. They're incredible. We love them dearly and spoil them rotten. Both kids were discarded by their bio families because they are LGBTQIA. Both were born biologically female but one, J, is transitioning to male and the other, B, is non-binary. They're together romantically. My sister, 59F, lives in another city about three hours away. When she would come to visit, she would stay in the in-law suites so I let her know that she would need to stay upstairs in the guest room instead of in the suite. She asked why. I told her the story of J and B. My sister didn't visit when she said she would so I called her up to check in. She proceeded to tell me that she felt that I had let demons into my home willingly and that by letting the kids live here. I was sinning. I told her that I accepted that she could have that opinion. But what I did in my home was my business and since she had not met the kids, she had no right to call them demons. They're amazing humans. So, for two years now, she's been sending me sermons and preaching at me. My husband and I skipped Thanksgiving to avoid her because last year was awful with her sermons. I called and told my gathered family happy Thanksgiving and sent my love but that was it. She was there and knew I was fine. Then, the police come knocking at my door as we sit down to eat Thanksgiving dinner with the now 20 year olds. My crazy sister had called them for a welfare check and made it seem like I was being held hostage by people in my house. The cops came in all aggressive and demanded to search my house. For what? And then sat me down in a separate room and grilled me about why I'd let strangers live in my house. Were they harming me or holding stuff over my head? Was my husband abusing me? Could they see my arms for bruises? Etc. I was so traumatized by how we were all treated that I called my sister and told her I'm filing a restraining order and want no further contact with her. This is too far. She knew I was fine. She knows that no one is harming me. AITA? Whoa! What your sister did to you was essentially swatting. She filed a false complaint with the intention of driving the police to your home. This could have gone terribly, terribly wrong for you and your family in so many ways. You are very lucky that the police did not assume anyone was armed. Someone could have been killed. You need to not only put out a restraining order. You need to look into whether or not you can file charges against her. It is also critically important that you get your side of the story on the record and make sure that local authorities are familiar with the situation. I am not joking here. Her actions put your physical safety at risk. And there is no guarantee she will not try this again. It goes without saying that you are NTA. But I will say it anyway. NTA. What she did is called, swatting, and she can and should face legal consequences for it. Please look into this and file charges against her. You and your husband are good souls. Keep it up. I'm so glad J and B have you. NTA seems like you're doing something mostly selfless for two young adults who were cast aside for trying to be themselves. Your sister seems like a religious zealot who needs to for their beliefs on everyone else. One of my least favorite archetypes of people. File that restraining order. Her behavior is ridiculous. One rule of legal actions is don't tell your opponent what's coming down the pipe if you don't legally have to. Let her find out from her own lawyer. If you're going to be in a legal war, don't help your opponent. First, 
Op. Love the username. SB Forever. Second. NTA. Your sister is unmoored from reality. And she should face charges for making a false report to police. Someone, including you, could have been seriously injured or killed in a police raid. You might reach out to a local LGBTQ group or the Human Rights Campaign for support and resources. Tell your sister she is the devil for trying to destroy your life instead, helping those in need. Or showing the other cheek, like Jesus did. Tell her that you pray for her foul, corrupted soul but you can't ever let her close again because inviting the devil is a no-go. NTA NTA. She should be charged for misuse of police and putting you through that situation. That woman is mentally unwell. NTA. This must have been terrifying. I hope you do file for a restraining order on your sister. Perhaps she also needs psychiatric assessment if she thinks pushing her religious views and pulling. A stunt like this is okay. NTA for telling her. Won't be when you actually file it. Also, you don't have a sister anymore. A year ago you had a 21-year-old son with a 23-year-old GF. Same kids? NTA. The swatting your sister did was morally reprehensible, legally sanctionable, and could easily have ended with one or more folks living under your roof physically hurt in addition to being utterly traumatized. Her despicable behavior is inexcusable. I would urge you to urge your local police to bring charges against her. And in addition to a restraining order you might want to explore with a local attorney whether you can file civil charges against her for compensation for harassment and intentional infliction of emotional distress. No good deed goes unpunished. It is said, I am so sorry your sister so relentlessly has tried to make that true for you. Thank you for making the world a better place by making place in your home and family of choice for this young couple in need. I hope and trust they will repay you with gratitude and love for the rest of your lives. NTA. What the sister is doing is harassment. NTA. She's unhinged. No. Get the restraining order. Also have the police know she filed a false report. Out of misguided notions and wasted their time. I would press for them to action it as it is not only waste of resources but is also harassment. NTAIT is time for that restraining order and to go no contact with her. You did a wonderful thing taking in those kids. They are family. None of you deserve the stuff your sister is starting. NTA at all. You and your husband are beautiful, beautiful people. Wish the world had more of you. NTA. Your sister has her own prejudices, opinions, stances, values. Whatever. She is free to voice them. But she absolutely cannot endanger you and your family's lives on a whim. Can charges be filed for wasting police resources, swatting in your state? NTA but your sister is a whopping asshole. Bigot homophobe. I could go on for days. Absolutely get the restraining order. Just wanted to mention that you should write up a rental agreement for the 20 yos and have them pay. Some sort of rent end if it is $1 a month. Then there is no reason for any further welfare checks, you have renters. Not saying you shouldn't continue the legal peace with a lawyer but get yourself situated to keep them from coming back. NTA. I sure wish I had met someone like you when I was homeless. Go no contact with sister. Fill a police report for false claims and let them know to ignore any further calls from your sister. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Cast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.